Well, good morning, y'all. Welcome on back to the channel. A beautiful, peaceful morning in the woods. It just got done blowing about 30 miles an hour. I feel like somebody wobbled me with a rolled up carpet. I did not sleep good. Let me show you all the sleeping arrangements. Not bad, just I'm telling y'all, the wind was blowing 30, 40 miles an hour last night. I thought a tree was gonna come down on the silver bullet. Oh yeah, that's where the magic happened last night. I did have, I had a Tempur-Pedic pillow, had a uh, little fleece blanket down as a base, then I had a little quilt on top, and it, it was pretty warm until about three in the morning, and it just so happens my bedroom is my kitchen. And I am not in a hurry to get out on the water this morning. I'm going to I'm gonna let this the waves calm down in just a hot second. I stayed up late last night, and I rigged up tackle. So today, we are going to wind and grind. Boom, baby. I got multiple jerk baits. Got multiple swim baits. Look over here on this side. That's just, I mean, what is going on there? I'm excited to throw those things. Cedar allergies got me last night too, so a little trouble breathing. But we're gonna fix that with a little hot liquid, and I brought a little taste of home, y'all. I'm talking eggs from the Rackley Roost. Look how beautiful. Those beautiful pastel balls of protein. Just awesome. Even got an avocado and an apple in there. Look at me. Brought my own fruit basket. Time for some mushroom tea. It's almost Ash Wednesday. That means it's time for me to give up, give up coffee. I'm gonna go ahead and start now. It's tough. Measure your case hobo spoonful of shrooms. Half a spoonful of that chai, wabam. Get some local honey. That'll be just right. SPG. Oh, I hear those bass boats running. The game changer is going to be we take a little bit of our leftover three cheese sausage from last night, throw that in there, get that cheese melted. Now we're talking. All right, y'all, I'm just burning the rest of the gas out of the lines. We're going to get our first sip of our tea here. Cheesy sausage with three over easy eggs from the backyard. Yes, sir. It's protein to fish all day. Mmm. If I only had one of OSG's homemade biscuits. I have no cell phone service out here. Literally zero. It says SOS. So I have no way to get weather updates. So we're gonna eat a big hearty meal and we're just gonna go get after it. Take whatever the day gives us. Regardless of catching fish, this is a dang good way to start the morning off. Weather report, crumb bumbler, 100%. I don't know about you though. I've seen a lot of big bass pictures wearing rain jackets before. So it's not gonna stop me. If it's just kind of this misty stuff, still film in it okay can't film exactly how I want to but you guys stick around I think we're gonna catch some good fish today silver bullet silver bullet awaits no I didn't get, get my first scratch nope we got clearance raptors are keeping it Locked. Thank goodness. All right, I got to figure out how to put all this stuff away so we're not going to get things wet. Oh, looks like it does drop a little bit. Just 
tons of bait. I saw a couple of cormorants in here. We're gonna throw this funky biscuit right here, man. I rigged up a 3 8 five jig for the real shallow stuff. We're 100% gonna put that lipless back in our hand too. That that one yesterday choked it like it did. I mean, you can't can't not pick that up. It's funny with a lipless, you know, like a half ounce, you can burn that thing and they'll they'll crush it. And I'm always I'm always stopping that thing too, give them a, a chance to eat it. But with these vibe jigs, just before that water gets, you know, into the 60s, I like to reel it slow. 58 too. The water's warmed up overnight just from we had warm rain and it was I mean I was hot going to sleep. Just seeing seeing most most of the activity off the grass line. Not up in it. Fish are being a little stubborn, but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Bass doesn't love a good thunderstorm. Ooh, the temperature just dropped about 10 degrees right there. Smash that like button for a little, little confidence boost so I can keep going. Woo! Oh man, alive. Ah, that's why we do it right there though, isn't it? That's why we do it. Starting the day off strong, baby. Fire engine red, hose one, start off the day. Had to get the confidence lure out. Y'all, it feels like I just took all of my gear and threw it in the lake. That's how much it just rained. I don't know if you can see across there, but well, you can't can't see across the lake gully washer I'm gonna back up a little bit I'm gonna go down I'm gonna go down that same bank I'm gonna back up a little bit throw a dirt bait now that my reels are well lubed Sometimes I advise the plier move. Those little ones like that, they'll get you. Went 
down in size. Both my fish I've caught on jerk baits have been pretty small, but they do catch big ones. A nice little calm drizzle on the lake now. The front came through. It is now cold. Crocs are definitely wet. Well, we got two bites. We're just getting started. Another little guy. On the dirt bait. Got the old scout down the hatch. Just pulled up to a just a little lead-in bank that I never fished yesterday. Not much grass on it, so just picked up a jerk bait. Trying to stay in that four to eight foot. Switched up colors from yesterday. I was on sexy shad, and it would actually be a better color for today. But this is kind of a pearlescent bottom that I really like. It's got a green back. I've always liked fishing those green backs around grass. I don't know, something about it. It's almost like it's trying to disguise itself and fish don't like it. They're like, don't hide from me. I want to eat you. Good news, we don't have 30 mile an hour winds right now. Pumped. Another little one. Just whacked its tar off of it though. <sighs> Fat, healthy fish. Barely hooked. Oh, you gonna make it? Are you gonna make it? Yeah, look at that beautiful fish. Ah. Chunk, man, these fish are so healthy out here. So healthy. That fish almost looks like it got tagged right there, but I think that's just a legion. Fat and healthy. Fat and healthy Fairfield fish. Sorry to see them go. On this setup, y'all, my jerkbait setup, I'm of course throwing it on the twitch rod, which this is a 6.8, actually it's 6.9, my bad. 6.9 is perfect for working with the rod tip down, down, and I'm throwing it on 12 pound fluoro. But I'll give you guys a tip for fishing jerkbaits. You know, the cadence is, I, I just keep it random, but the, the most important thing is, when you jerk that rod tip down, and that's why we use a shorter rod so you're not slapping the water. You have a lot of control over it. But it's important to let that rod tip go back up. So when you jerk down, go right back up. And that allows that jerk bait to do that slashing motion. And then also, you're not gonna be pulling it. So if I just like pulled it like that, that's a completely different action. Not saying you can't catch fish like that, but the way a jerk bait is supposed to work, you rebound, give that slack, and it'll go left and right, and it'll just spin there instead of kind of dragging along. And your line is also going to determine how the, that bait sits in the water. So, you know, a heavier fluorocarbon that sinks more will kind of make it go more nose down. If you fish mono, it'll be more nose up. Uh, 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon is a really good combination. Look at these floaters. What are the floaters? Let's let's cast down, see what they do. The dirt bait's gonna go right down in the perfect depth where they are, maybe a little below them. See it coming, I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. Work it with my rod tip up. Oh. 
fishes and eat it. That fish ate it. Oh my god, it's a big bass. Big floater ate the jerk bait. Oh, looked like there was another one with it. So we got the little males up closer to the bank and then females suspended doing their thing. Waiting. I finally got a floater too. Scope floater. It's not a giant, but I, I think there was another one with it. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell what it got a little crazy there on the scope. Oh, you look like you're gonna hook me. I don't know how many bass I've ever landed in the top lip, but that's one of them. Ooh, and that fish has something down its throat. We need to find out what that is. There's a big nasty one. Ugh. Big female floaters. Got any eggs popping out? No. Just hanging. Jerk baits, just killer for doing that. Just hangs there. All right, y'all. Heck of a fish. Let's get it back in the water. That was fun. See you, darling. What was really cool about that is the rain had just calmed down to a drizzle and it was like, ah, you know, just had that ah, relaxing feeling and then wabam. Saw her on scope though. Said I wasn't going to do that, but if I see another big juicy, we're going to throw at it with the, with the scout. You know, just depends. Depends on what she wants. You never know. We're gonna, I'm going to stick with my arsenal of shallow grass baits. Especially this lovely little guy right here. I'm, this is the only one I have, unfortunately. <laughs> I better not lose it. It's the only color, only one in that color that I have. That color has been good. They've been eating it, eating it well. So it almost looked like that fish, fish that I caught had uh, crawfish, like pinchers kind of stuff in its mouth. I'm not quite sure, but ah, <sighs> feels good, y'all. Feels good to. Whack a juicy one. There's one sitting on this little tree right there. Just hanging. No, it's not the only one. There's other fish. I'm casting to fish. Okay. That one needs to eat my jerk bait. It's following it. It's just gonna follow it. Right by the boat. She's not gonna eat it. She's sitting right under it. She's not gonna eat it. All right, I'm seeing enough activity right here. A little bit of grass. A shade. Take a grass to pick up the lipless. Oh, God, it's so nice. You just you just pick that thing up and absolutely zip it out there. Cover about a hundred yards in one cast. Oh God. Just had one almost to eat it under the boat. I watched him. All right, that depth is good. Oh my gosh, that's a crappie. Oh, buddy. That is a large one. Well, I just discovered there's mega crops in here. That could be a game changer for me. Look at that. That is pretty. Okay, 
we are seeing the sun come out. That is nice. And it's getting kind of calm. And I'm just working this grass flat where I was, where I started at yesterday. And I got a couple bites. And I just whacked a monster crappie and I just got a absolute hammer hit by a bass. There's, oh God, there's just not much going on back here. It's just a huge grass flat. There's not, not much contour changes at all. But most of the time when I'm fishing a lipless, I get, I get the bite on the paws. And it's almost like a jig hit. It's a smack it. It's like they're following it and it pauses for a second and then they just run into it. There's one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, my God. God come on. Ooh. God, that rod loaded up so nice. That's about a four and a half pounder. hurts my last two I've lost it's not like they're just sitting in one spot casting all around you know it's a good fish when you pull up and you're like is that grass and then start feeling those head shakes it's gonna be a good one wrist is starting to cramp up from grinding so hard I'm doing most of the work with the reel I'm not even pumping the rod so if you do this all day, then your side starts hurting. Oh God, oh, just missed one there. Hit it on the paws. Oh, hit it on the paws. I have tried throwing the vibe jig. It's just not as effective, it's slower. I'm just not getting any bites on it. There are some hogs in those reeds behind me. And I'm not talking about bass. Just had one choke it by the boat. I think it's down the hatch. Oh yeah. It's down the hatch. But look at that. I don't know how that fish got it so good because I was literally about to reel my bait in. All right, hang on a second. One more jump. Yeah, you're not getting that out. Spot lock real quick. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you how this fish grabbed this bait like it did. Just sheer speed. That's pliers to get that thing out. All right. Let you go. You get a little injury. Fish's blood coagulates in water. So the faster you get them back in there, the faster they're going to heal. First bit of blood on the silver bullet. little suntan sash just to knock that winter dust off the white meat here oh my gosh big one ah, it's like the biggest one of the day and I'm sitting here goofing around with my lizard shorts getting a tan Figured out a little something on the spot though. Oh, you want to talk about jig bite? Like stop and then. Oh, where are you going? God, you're strong. Oh, I love it. I love to see it. I really do. Oh, just big old fat 
fat belly sow. Woo, man, I think this beats the big one on the jerk bait. Just girth. Mercy. Why does this lake have to go? Now bait is out. Uh, let's give it a sniff. Oh, farewell. Beautiful. Love to see it. You were so good to me. Lots of jumps, loved it. And you stayed pinned while I was fumble muffing the camera, trying to get it to turn on. Okay, we got the old Bandito camo long sleeve back on. And we are ready to go again. Guys, I, I'm just gonna keep throwing this. I, I hate to do basically two videos in a row where I'm catching them on the same thing, but I pick up something else. I fish it for a while, I don't get bit. And I pick up this and I get bites and I'm getting big bites, that's the thing. It's not like I'm just throwing this thing to get little ones. Don't let anybody tell you you can't catch a big one on a on a rattle trap or lipless crankbait. That's it's not true. I've caught a lot of big fish on on lipless and it's it's always this time of year, or I shouldn't say always, in the fall shad patterns get pretty good too. But this time of year, red, flaming hot. This color's working very good. This is reactionary, this type of fishing. You know, I'm making just tons of casts. I'm bringing it by a couple of fish, trying to run it into their face. But I don't know, I can't tell you like, oh yeah, I need to throw right at this one little spot. It's just a general area that has more grass. It's a little different than, oh, there's, oh my God, did you guys see that? I mean, the, the stop, that's the deal. Stopped it and it just got rocked. Just happened to see one chase it on live scope. Eat it, I'll be scared of it. Oh my God, that one freaking smoked it. Oh, it's a big one too. Oh man. I mean, it just stopped. It stopped the rod. It's a big one. Oh my God, it's a giant. It's my biggest fish I've ever hooked out here. Oh my God. Oh, don't you, don't you get away. Holy cow. It's a big one, y'all. Holy cow, what a fish. Oh, it's got it down its throat too. Gotta go easy with the braid. They can bust this braid. Oh my God, what a fish. I mean, it's got shoulders. Oh my God, PB out here for sure. I might have to get the net. Uh, no, I'm not. Can't fumble it. Just getting that grass and tire out. Oh my God, it's a giant. It's a giant. I'm just worried about the line breaking. The fish just stopped it. Oh my God, it's like an eight pounder. Oh my God. Come here, baby. Come here, give me that face. I know, I know, I know. 
I know, I know. Oh my God, look at that. Holy crap, guys. That fish is huge. That's bigger than eight. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's like a 10. Oh my God, I don't think I have a scale. Holy sh oh my God. Oh my God, it's a giant. That is a freaking toad. Guys, that bait looks tiny. And that fish is, oh my God. Oh my God, this, this is, that's probably a 10 pounder. He's not even joking, not even joking. Not even a joke, that is a 10. Oh, where did I put my scale? I don't know where I put my scale. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, thank you Lord. Oh, I don't even, I, you guys, I can't find my scale. I have scoured my boat. <sighs> I'm telling you, if it ain't over 10, it is like close. Very, very close. The fish is yoked, it's fat. I'm gonna at least get a length measurement. I don't even have a measuring board that'll measure it. I got a, I got a green series rod, that's what I'll do. I will measure it on the rod that I caught it on. <laughs> Bright sunny day, no wind, lipless in the grass, y'all. I mean, I was worried. I was really worried on that fish because I saw how deep it was. And I've had some fish on braid like that, a real big one. Uh, a big fish can cut through that braid. But this is this is actually 40 pound. I would say 30 pound is really good for ripping through grass, but I just I just went with 40 pound just because I had it. Had it, spooled it up. Thank goodness I did. This is a little thicker. <sighs> Let me just show you all this fish. Look at this fish. That is a <laughs> that thing is a pig. Look how wide it is. Oh my gosh. I mean, just the girth. Look at the face. I, the mouth on it is, is huge. I'm going to lift this fish out once to show you guys that I'm going to get a couple picks and we're going to put it right back because this is, this is a giant fish. I want to make sure to take good care of her. Uh, oh my God. Just look how fat that fish is. Look at the belly on it. Holy cow. That is an absolute specimen, y'all. <laughs> oh, girl, I love you. All right, y'all, let's get a release on this girl. Big girl. You're free, darling. You're free. I love you. <laughs> yes. Alrighty, friends, I'm going to end today's video with that because there is no better way that I can end it with a giant like that. A questionable 10 pounder, you may say in the comments. Here's what I would tell you. I did measure the fish. It was 23 and a half inches long. In my experience, a 20, around a 24 inch fish is usually like a 10. That's somewhere around a 10. It's it's like a nine, high nine, 10. When they get when they get 24 inches long, they're very big. I am not gonna call that a 10 pounder. I'm just gonna call it a big fish. Uh, that's what I know. I know it had a huge face, a fat belly, and it was a, it was an awesome hit. I knew as soon as that fish hit it, I was like, that's a big one. Huh? They just boom, stopped the bait. And that's, that's key. Uh, that's how I've gotten all the bites on the lipless is stopping it. I know you guys watch me wind this thing forever in this video, so you saw how I was pausing it. But just look look at the teeth marks on this thing. I love to see baits that just get torn up and they get all those teeth marks on there and it's just, it's a beautiful thing. I've still got one more day out here and it's 1.30 right now, so I've got more time to fish. So stay tuned 
for the next video, but my heart breaks that I catch my biggest fish of the year on this lake that it's got a good bite going and it's about to be shut down. So very sad. Anyway, thank y'all for hanging with me at camp and on the water, sharing a few big hook sets together. I just love it so much, y'all. So don't forget to smash that like button for big old fish. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more fishing, camping, all the above. And go to GuganSquad.com. Pick you up some flaming Hot Clutches or maybe some other delicious treats we got over there. You can use code LFG, save 10% at checkout. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Right back here on the water. I might just get another one right now. You know, might be bigger than that one. If I get one bigger than that, I may have to go in and find somebody that has a scale. <laughs>